This is it. The end of the road. Welcome to part 29, the story finale of Super Mario Galaxy. We are here at Bowser's Galaxy Reactor in a confrontation appropriately titled The Fate of the Universe. The stakes can't get any higher. This level may seem a little daunting because there are so many mechanics you have to work with. First up, the gravity changing light. It allows you to walk on walls. Just keep a cool head and don't rush, and you should be fine. There is one slight problem though. The fire bars are going to try and get in your way. You can grab the collector poles if you want, but I'm going to forego them. Don't really need them. That was really close. Take a dirt nap, bonehead. Now this part always wigs me out. You gotta get through here. Yeah. Come on, move, move, move. There we go. What the heck was I so worried about? What? There we go. And now on to planet number two. The lava planet. Just gotta watch out for the sinking blocks and the fireballs that come out. Okay, so far so good. Just a little more, more to go. Okay, with the steam jets, just to be extra careful. And now we're on to planet three, the ice planet. The blocks disappear, so you gotta be fast. You could go for the collectibles if you want, but I really don't need to. I'm just gonna go ahead. This is one thing I want to do in a big time hurry. Kick Bowser's butt. Planet 4 is the quicksand planet. With lots more fire bars. Two of my favorite things in the entire game. NOT! Okay. This part can be kind of tricky, so just keep a cool head and long jump! Oh yeah, we got this. Okay, the next part's not really a planet, but you gotta move. More reappearing, disappearing blocks. Okay. You gotta watch out for fire bars too, because they will be a thorn in your side. Ah. Should have seen that one coming, but I'm fine. And now we're on to the final section. The Lava Castle. It twists, it turns, and it makes you miserable. There are bullet bills, swamps, and even bonsai bills here. Just be careful. Head out right here. Wait for a few more seconds because these swamps actually fall down a little faster than usual. Okay, what the hell did I just do? Okay, good. Could use that. Ah! Little bastard hit me! That's fine. I see a coin. And I'm going to get it. You guys are way too... Look at you! You missed me! Alright, we're almost there. I see the launch star. Whoa! That was pretty brutal! Oh. This is actually not going so well. Get up! Point! Wow! That was an excellent dodge! I didn't even know how I'm still alive! Oh, that was way too close, but I made it. And now it's on to the grand finale of this level. Bowser himself. And that bastard son of his. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me! Big mistake, little boy. You've been a thorn on my side, and I want to spank you back to the Stone Age. But since your dad's causing all this trouble, I'll deal with him first. The eternal rivalry renewed. Obviously, your dad didn't discipline you enough. I'm Mario. I can't possibly lose. Okay, I gotta move. These fireballs are getting a little too intense. 
Let's do this. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe! Watch and weep! <laughs> From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with peace by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Mario, as you can see, I got big plans, and stopping you is at the top of my list. Just bring it. The final fight for all the marbles. To begin, He's got a new trick up his sleeve. Of course, there's an old one. He turns into a rock, so what you gotta do is smack him in the face! There's the stun, and whack! Nothing I can't handle. So he's gonna do it again. He'll stop and send the shockers a little faster, but other than that, pretty simple. You are too slow, pal. And now... Oh, weird. He didn't go flying when he was supposed to. There you go. Quick stun. This is way too easy, man. Holy smokes! I am making him look like mincemeat. I think so far in this project, this has been my best Bowser fight yet. But now we're on to the final planet, and the final stretch of the game. Listen to that music. It sets the stage for an eerie finale. But Bowser's not done yet. He's got one more trick. The rolling spike ball attack. Ha! Bet you didn't forget about that, huh? Okay. Just like old times. Almost got him. One last temper tantrum. Bowser, you've got to learn. And of course, what would a Bowser fight be without the obligatory fire breathing? With his last spike ball attack, he moves pretty quick, so you've got to really be on your guard. Oh, man! Oh, man! You're just stalling now. Nope. Well, get your licks in the way you can, because when it's all said and done, you're going into the deep fryer. That is the sun. All right. Just like before. Strike one! Strike two! You're out of here! I laid such a beating on that schmuck that he couldn't take the pain and passed out. By the way, if you thought using an axe to chop down a bridge and dropping him into lava was cool, how about shooting him into the sun? Nobody could have survived that! And there it is, the final grand star of the game. We fought hard, we survived impossible odds, and the day is ours. It's absolutely beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, here is your winner, Mario! So with Grand Star in tow, Mario goes to rescue his princess. What a catch! And with the power of the Grand Star, Mario and the princess were able to fly away and make their way back to the gate. Away from trouble, free from danger.
and it looks like Bowser's galaxy is beginning to crumble. Specifically, this one planet. Look at that! He survived! You wouldn't think he would, because I'm sure a star is way hotter than lava. But he's been beaten butt good this time. No! My galaxy! My empire! This can't be happening! Oh, but it is, chump. It's going supernova! Oh, he's really done it now. The galaxy reactor has gone into full-blown black hole mode. Well, you can't conquer what doesn't exist. And that black hole is going to suck everything in and destroy all life as we know it. Well, it was a fun ride while it lasted. What the hell? All the Lumas are going into the black hole. This is pretty sad, but pretty noble at the same time. The Lumas are trying to stop the black hole by sacrificing themselves. And it looks like mission accomplished. And in turn, another big bang. Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust performs to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. but the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see. We're back in the Mushroom Kingdom. Was it all a dream? Couldn't have been. Because it seemed so real. But sure enough, everything is where it should be. Yep. There's the castle. And it looks like fireworks are being shot off. Now this is a sight to see. The residents of the Mushroom Kingdom having a good time with the followers of King Bowser. Oh, and speaking of Bowser, there he is. And it looks like he's in pretty good shape, all things considered. Not bad for a giant monster who got burned up by a sun. Yes, all new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. Ah. Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy!
Nope. Definitely not a dream. It's as real as it gets. Well, folks, that's game. This has been Super Mario Galaxy. The story may be done, but the Let's Play is not quite finished. When we come back, we've got some more stars to find because I'm about 15 shy of the max 120. So, we're going to dive right back in and collect some more stars. What kind of stars? That's a secret. But if you know the game, you know what to expect. And unfortunately, in some cases, <laughs> so do I. So, I'm going to stop talking now and let you guys watch the credits. And until the next part, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. See you next time. much for playing my game.